need to change a formula equation to ionic form. First thing we see is that the first substance here is a solid. Solids do not dissociate. So that's written the same as it is in the other equation. HCl, however, is aqueous, so we must dissociate that. We have the ion H+. Plus. Because there's a 6 in front of this, we have 6 H plus ions. Also, because it's aqueous, this ion is aqueous. We also have 6 Cl minus aqueous ions. Looking at the products, the H2 is a gas. We do not dissociate gases. So that's written the same as it is in the other equation. The AlCl3 is aqueous, so we must dissociate that. We have two aluminum ions with a plus 3 charge. Because this is aqueous, they are also aqueous. We have Cl ions, and they have a charge of negative 1. They're also aqueous. Now we have to be careful with the coefficient we put here. We have three Cl's in the compound, and there's a coefficient of 2 in front. So that gives us a total of 2 times 3, which is 6 Cl minus ions. Now you'll notice that we have 6 Cl minus aqueous on this side and 6 Cl minus aqueous on this side. This is called a spectator ion. The concentration of Cl minus does not change as a reaction proceeds. We can write what's called a net ionic equation from this. We take away the Cl minus from the left side and from the right side. Then we compact this and this gives us what's called a net ionic equation. 